Up quit power after 49 days of rule saying that BJP and Congress joined hands and conspired against AAP by not letting the Jan Lokpal bill pass. With no government for over a year, development took a back seat and things did take a toll. A look at the year gone by. From resignation to president's rule and then wrangling by parties for fresh polls, Delhi saw it all. But Delhi could not develop properly. While AAP did some good in the 49 days like slashing power and water bills, they took controversial decisions like ordering an FIR against then Petroleum Minister M. Virappa Moili and RIL Chief Mukesh Ambani for alleged collusion in fixing prices of natural gas from KG Basin. AAP faced the ire from several quarters over the midnight raid by Minister Somnath Bharti to bust an alleged prostitution racket. Kejriwal's dharna, seeking punishment against policemen who refused to take action in the case was much talked about. Kejriwal, along with colleagues and supporters, spent a night under the open sky outside Rail Bhavan, braving the cold winter on January 28th. All this did not help up in any way, with the party failing to prove themselves at the national stage. They failed to win even a single seat in the Lok Sabha polls. Kejriwal lost against Narendra Modi in Varanasi and he admitted that it was a big mistake on his part to quit government in Delhi and promised never to repeat it. The section of Safran leaders who were in favour of the party forming the government got backing from a number of central leaders. In September, Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, Najib Jung, sent a report to the President seeking permission to invite BJP to form government in Delhi. This drew sharp criticism and AAP came out with a sting operation alleging efforts to lure its MLAs to switch sides were on. At this point, the Safran party decided against taking a shot at power without having a clear majority. It was on November 4th when the Delhi Assembly was dissolved. All parties soon launched their respective campaigns. Meanwhile, Sheila Dixit returned after quitting as Kerala governor. The BJP, on the other hand, in July appointed Satish Upadhyay as chief of its city Delhi unit succeeding Harshwardhan. The city witnessed very little development, though the lieutenant governor made efforts to streamline functioning of the administration. All major projects were delayed due to lack of decision making. No new infrastructure projects were launched in the city in the last 10 months during president's rule. Security of women remained a concern as Delhi saw the Uber rape case where a 27-year-old girl was allegedly raped by a driver of app-based taxi booking service Uber. Delhi government banned them from roads, however, they could return if they follow rules.